from Beer Tech here. Today we're having a look at a graphic design program online for free called Snapper. It was designed in 2015 in Canada in Ottawa by a guy named Christopher Gimmer and we're going to have a look today. Let's check it out. Luke from Beer Tech here. Today we're having a look at a program called Snapper. It's an online marketing tool uh, in the similar vein as Canva but it has a couple of unique little features and bits that I really love about it. So I thought I'd give it a review today. So what you're gonna do is go to snapper.com and you're gonna be introduced to this wonderful loading screen that has a 55 second demo of how to make your graphics. And I have an account already, so hopefully I can log in straight out. Here we go. And we're logging in and you're introduced to this page here. And basically you have the option of doing your own sized graphic or these pre-made templates. And I love these pre-made templates because all you do is change one of the themes, put your own info in and your own pictures, upload whatever you want, and you have exported an image suitable for any of these sizes for any of these platforms. So you've got headers for different social media, you have ads for social media, display ad types, you have all the basic social media post sizes, including YouTube thumbnails, which I use all of the time for every single video. So what we'll do is perhaps make a YouTube thumbnail on a particular topic or issue. Now with your free account, there are some limitations. And here's where one of my cons is with this program is that you can only download five uh, posts or images, uh, export five a month um, and share those to your social networking, and you only have a few themes available. Now these are completely fine, these themes, it just blocks a few off for you. The same as Canva, Canva does the same thing, but Canva has far more uh, available at your fingertips than this does, but this has completely different looking themes, which can give you a completely different flavor. It has a lot of these vector sort of uh, images combined with simple text that looks absolutely simplistic yet brilliant. So this will attract people to click on your post or your link where you're putting this next to. So let's do a thumbnail for right here, some sort of uh, info for someone that's gonna grab their attention. So we'll just load this up. How to get visitors to your blog. And already this looks absolutely brilliant and it's telling you to change the background. So you can click on the background, change it to an actual image, which they have their own uh, licensed images there that you can use as you wish. You're not infringing on copyright. You have patterns in the background. You can upload your own stuff. And as you can see here, I've uploaded my Beard Tech logo for my Beard Tech YouTube channel there. And I can actually whack that on wherever I wish. You just click on it. Actually, that's now the background. So I probably won't want to make that the background. But if I click graphics, then uploads, I can actually make this pop into the picture. There it is. So already I've got my own branding sitting next to this template. So let's change some of these icons here. Let's go shapes. Actually, let's go graphics because these wonderful little icons will pop up here. So let's actually type in Facebook and we'll see what happens. And here's your Facebook button. So let's actually do this black and white one. Let's get rid of this. I'm just pressing delete to get rid of things. You can drag, drop, rotate, do whatever you wish to it and export this in a couple of minutes. It even has these center snapping lines. And let's change this text here. Let's change it to how to get five YouTube subscribers and let's change the size we can change the size down like this there we go click on the text drag it down so it fits in two weeks Okay guys, so I've changed up the YouTube thumbnail a little bit here just to give it a bit more consistency. 
and it's saying best graphic design software for free. Snapper is a great way to start. And I've downloaded the Snapper logo here and uploaded it to Snapper, put a picture of a PC behind it. And I'm gonna add a couple of little graphical elements here. And the icons in this program are really, really good. And you can rotate them and place them where you wish. And I decided to do a icon of scissors and a couple of bits just to make it look a bit better. So I'll add these in for you as we speak. I might actually put, yep, there they are. And all you do is click on them, it puts the image in, click the image, rotate it around, resize it. There's some scissors and then we'll add another element next to those. Let's put a clock. Click on that, rotate that a little. Make it a bit smaller. And that's probably enough. You don't want to make it too busy. So already this has this great gradient in the background. It has all the graphical elements you wish to be there on there. And you can now export this. And all you do, uh, I'll also rename it as well. Let's call it snapper thumb and there we go everything is consistent couple of icons you already have a wonderful thumbnail pre-made press download you can download this as a web optimized jpeg high res jpeg retina jpeg or png uh, so i'm going to go high res png that's what i love to use or use a converter if the dots per inch aren't good enough. So now you just press save and you've got it and it's ready to share. And I'll just show you what it looks like opened. So you can actually see it. There it is. So you can imagine that on Twitter or Facebook or as a YouTube thumbnail, which is what it is. Putting that on YouTube will look absolutely brilliant. And you can have any size you wish chosen by Snapper. So these are really well designed um, themes. I absolutely love them. There are a couple of downsides to this in that you must pay for extras like you know unlimited downloads, which Canva of course lets you unlimited have unlimited access to everything that they offer except for a few things that are blocked out and making folders and doing your brand kit. So this, I actually recommend this for doing just a different flavor of the themes of what you want your YouTube thumbnails to look like. And I might actually make the thumbnail for this um, YouTube video using Snapper. So every single time I review one of these programs, I'll use that program to do the thumbnail if I can. So I give this about three and a half beards out of five because it does have some downfalls. It's not as... Uh, intuitive or in-depth as Canva in terms of editing but you can do very similar things and what they offer is this cool vector graphics uh, completely different themes ease of use tutorial videos built in and really it's super intuitive and easy to use and I absolutely love the thing so thank you for joining me today on Beard Tech you can send me a Twitter message. I'm Luke S. Goddard. Uh, you can visit me on Facebook. Beard Tech is there. And you can, of course, view other tutorials on this channel. If you want any other tutorials, please let me know in the comments below. And I'll get back to you and we'll be happy to chat. Thank you very much. See you next time.